Syntactically Awesome Style Sheets, or SAS, is a language that can extend your CSS with superpowers. Modern UIs are extremely complex, and if you attempt to build one with plain CSS, you'll find yourself repeating yourself often. SAS comes to the rescue by providing a compiler that allows us to write style sheets in a completely different language. Well, two different languages to be exact. The original indented syntax that you find in .sas files removes the syntactic salt of semicolons and curly braces. Oh, sassy! But the more popular version is the superset syntax that you find in SCSS files. Here you can write regular CSS, then extend it with additional bonus features as needed. SAS has been around for nearly 15 years, and one of its original killer features was variables. Use a dollar sign to name a variable, then reference it somewhere else in your code. Now if that value ever changes, you only have to update one line of code. CSS introduced its own native variables a few years ago, but the advantages don't stop there. Killer feature number two is nesting. In many cases, classes are used as namespaces, which means they're often duplicated over and over again. We can avoid this duplication by nesting styles inside the parent. By default, these classes will apply to descendant elements, or they can be applied to a direct sibling by using the ampersand, which itself is a tool that tells SAS to combine the parent selector with the nested child selector. Now, one other issue with CSS is that you'll often find yourself including a similar group of styles on multiple classes. Mixins allow you to encapsulate a group of styles, then apply those styles anywhere in your code using the include keyword. Mixins can also take arguments to create a large number of similar classes programmatically, like a bunch of of different colored buttons, for example. In addition, SAS provides a whole suite of tools to help you write more programmatic code. Use if or else in a mixin for conditional logic, or create an array of values with a variable, then loop over them with each. And you might even extract all this logic into a reusable function. Or SAS might already have a built-in function for you ready to go. If you need to adjust a color, you can use the lighten or darken functions to adjust a color by a predictable value. When you're finished building a beautiful UI, the compiler will take your code and convert it into to valid CSS that can run in the browser. This has been SAS in 100 seconds, but before you go, here's one more bonus pro tip. When working with nested code, it can sometimes be hard to figure out exactly which set of braces you're inside of. In VS Code, enable the bracket pair colorizer extension to give each set of braces their own unique color. Make sure to hit the like button if you want to see more short videos like this. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.